In the overview of the antenna, I will highlight some points of the V80 antenna. Uh, in the later stage of this training, we will look a little bit closer to these points. So the V80 antenna, 3-axis VSAT antenna with an 83cm aluminium dish. The superior performance allows you to travel to the far outer fringes of the footprint and the system supports various types of buck, 4 watt, 8 watt, 16 watt, including the maintenance and control lines, which allows you to maintain and control the bug from the control software. The firmware updates can be done through IP or locally. The antenna has a wireless uh, possibility to connect to the ACU. Then the system allows you to do ABS, the auto beam switching, depending on modem type. Uh, the system comes with a copole LMB and a crosspole LMB. It can work with or without the ship's gyro, and again, I will explain a little bit more about that in a later stage. It's capable of decoding DVBS and DVBS2 transponders, or use narrowband carriers and then use the modem to identify your satellite. The minimum weight balance blocks and cabling uh, allows the system to move uh, quite quick and it's simple installation and maintenance. And the dome of the V80G matches the dome of the I9P, I9W T Ferro antennas, which allows you to have matched pairs on board your vessel for aesthetic uh, reasons. Furthermore, the system supplies 48 volts DC on the TX coax cable from the ACU. Uh, this power is then used to power the buck. And just for the information, the RX cable, which is connected between the ACU and the above deck system, will carry the 24 volts DC to power the rest of the electronics in the system. System supports various modem interfaces, Ethernet, console port, or serial. And it supports also the auto beam switching if the modem is iDirect Open AMIP or Comtech ROS. Firmware updates through Aptus. There is a separate presentation uh, on how to use the Aptus and how to do the firmware updates. The event history lock recorder uh, from, the modem, from the moment the antenna is switched on, it will start recording log information, history information on the antenna, and there will be about five, six months of information available inside the ACU at all times. The built-in web-based remote control management, uh, I will explain a little bit more about that when we get to the ACU. Then the system supports NMEA 0183 HDT and HDG synthesis, and also NMEA 2000 uh, for heading input. On the ACU, there is an Intellian LAN port, which allows you to connect other devices, other Intellian devices to the ACU, so you can have uh, a remote access to, for example, a TVRO system. And the system, the ACU, has a built-in spectrum analyzer, which uh, is really handy to use uh, on fault finding or trying to find your satellite. Looking at the specifications of the antenna, we can see the radome height, 1.2 meters. The radome diameter, uh, 1.13. And if you compare that to the reflector size, you can see that is about 30 centimeters difference, meaning that there is about 15 centimeters around the dish uh, for, the, for the dish to move freely inside the dome. The weight of the antenna is about 90 kilograms, depending on the type of buck uh, installed in the system. It's a three axis system, so it can move in azimuth, elevation and cross level. The azimuth range, unlimited, 
so no end stops. The elevation range from minus 10 to plus 110, meaning the system can track below the horizon and also track over the 90 degree top. Cross level range, 60 degrees, 30 degrees either way. And there is uh, elevation and cross level motors with uh, a motor brake on them. So if the system is not powered, uh, uh, there is brakes on the motor to prevent the dish from damaging it itself. Looking at the RF specifications of the antenna, the TX frequency, 13.75 to 14.5 gigahertz. Of course, depending on the type of bug which is installed in your system, 13.75, 14.5 gigahertz is the extended range. If for whatever reason you decide to uh, take the system with a standard bug, then the TX range would be 14 to 14.5 gigahertz. TX gain 40 dB. The RX frequency 10.7 to 12.75 gigahertz, which is the uh, whole range of the KU band. The RX gain 37.6 dB measured in mid band. G over T 17.7 dB Kelvin which is used to calculate your link budget. Bug options, 4, 8, 16 watt, depending. The LMB on all the systems is an Italian PLL LMB, and in a later stage I will explain a little bit more about this LMB. And the polarization, cross pole and co -pole. So you will have two LMBs in the system. Looking at the specifications for the ACU, the ACU is a 43.1 cm wide, uh, 38 cm deep and 4.4 cm high unit, which is the standard 19 inch uh, unit. System is supplied with brackets, so you can put it inside the rack. The weight of the ACU it's 3.5 kilograms. It's a little bit heavier the, compared to the other ACUs we have due to the fact that there is two power supplies inside, one for the 48 volt buck power, one for the 27 volts uh, system power. There's a two line 40 character graphical display. It has 20 touch keys. It has several ports uh, to connect uh, on the front. We've got PC connections uh, to do firmware updates or log downloads. And on the back, we have several connectors to connect NMEA, RS-222, Ethernet, uh, modem interfaces, RF connections, N and F types. And in a later stage, I will show the front and the back of the ACU and tell a little bit more about it. 